Now this time I add a text on the circle. To do this from this layer panel, at first create a new layer and then click and hold on this icon and select ellipse tool and holding shift draw a circle and then set this in middle to do this navigate to the move tool and simply set it in middle now i add grid lines on this document to work more efficiently now i select this ellipse one and set fill from 100 to zero and after that i select this text tool and hover over on the circle and click on this and this time i type i records now simply select this tool which is called path selection tool and then go to the one of this point of this circle and simply drag and set it in center all right and after that select this text tool and then change this text color from black to white and from this drop down menu i choose this athletic font and using this character panel i just simply decrease letter height a little bit and increase the font size and add letter spacing all right once you are satisfied with that simply hit on done and now this time i add another text on this position to do this at first i just simply hide this i records text and then select this ellipse one and choose this text tool and click on the circle and type black crew and from this left side i select this path selection tool and hover over this mouse on this circle and set this position in middle and from this character panel i just simply change this text height all right and now i also visible this i record text and this time I create a eye shape using Photoshop. To do this, I just simply go to File, New, and create a new document. And from this layer panel, create a new layer. And select this pen tool. And now I draw a eye shape. Now I duplicate this shape one and using the move tool i set it just in this position and press ctrl t to activate that transform mode and now i right click on this and select rotate 180 degree and using the move tool i just simply set it just in this position and from this layer panel, I just select these two shape and right click on this and select convert to smart object. Now to deselect this selection, I just simply press Ctrl D. Now I just simply hide this background and using the move tool, I just simply drag it here. And then I press Ctrl T to activate the transform mode and then increase this eye size a little bit more and using the move tool i just set it in middle now i rename this eye shape as a eye and after that i just right click on this and select bending options and check stroke and set it in 67 and now i just simply hit on ok and then again i just simply press ctrl t to activate the transform mode and make this bigger a little bit more 
and using the move tool i just simply set it in middle all right and then i create a layer mask and now i remove this extra portion of this eye shape to do this select this brush tool and i choose hard brush and make sure that your foreground color set black and background color set white and then simply brush it now i add another circle on this position to do this click and hold on this icon and select ellipse tool and holding shift draw a circle and using the move tool set it in middle and now right click on this go to blending options and check this stroke and set it in 67 and now i simply press ctrl t to activate that transform mode and holding shift i make this bigger a little bit more and using the move tool i set it in middle and set fill from 100 to 0 and now finally i just draw a simple thunderable on this position now to draw this at first i create a new layer and set my foreground color white and holding shift i choose this polygonal lasso tool and draw a thunderable like this and choose this paint bucket tool and set color white and press ctrl t to activate that transform mode and now i simply rotate this and right click on this and select flip horizontal now i just simply set it here and yes we are done hopefully you will learn a lot of this research design section so from now using these techniques and using your creativity i think you will able to create much more amazing t-shirts like this one thank you so much for watching